Hello class. Um, I wanted to record a quick integrity session to show you some different ways to start um, to begin organizing your nursing information. We understand that it's the second week and things um, can still be a little overwhelming at this point, but I wanted to do a quick tutorial within Blackboard just to show you some of the different forms out here and to give you some ideas on how you can begin to organize the different information that we put out on Blackboard for you. So first we'll begin by selecting our course. So of course I'm an instructor so I have more courses but um, go ahead and open up your Fundamentals of Nursing course. So first I wanted to just bring your attention to the left side of the screen. If you'll notice here you see Dr. Ephraim has information I'm listed on here as well as myself and Ms. Williamson will also post information from time to time. This is because all of us are teaching a Fundamentals course and we all have access to this one fundamentals module. So from time to time you'll see things that Ms. Williamson will post, I'll post things, and Ms., uh, and Dr. Ephraim will post things. And so if the information is relative to you as far as general information as far as modules are concerned, read that information. If information concerning, um, if there's information out here about a clinical group and it does not apply to you, don't read that information but when you come to the information tab all of us are using this tab both um, myself and Ms. Williamson and also Dr. Ephraim we'll, we will all put information out here that we think um, will help you or assist you in your studies so first I wanted to bring your attention to the study guides that you have listed here what we want to do is to make sure that you have everything you need to be successful. So um, we've put information out here. Each module will have a study guide that accompanies that module. And so when you open up your study guide, you will see information on here um, that will tell you all of the main points that you need to study or make sure that you're familiar with and covering that information. And so you'll see here for vital signs, you have the information here. It tells you what chapter you need to read, um, any audio visuals that may assist you in learning the information. This information is listed downstairs for you. And then come down to the part where it says main points. Points. This is the part of the study guide that you want to focus in on. You want to make sure that you can address each one of these areas. You want to address all of the main points before your exam. Okay, so when you're studying and you're preparing for an exam, pull this study guide back out and make sure you understand what it means to um, inspect, palpate, and auscultate respirations. This is how you use this study guide in order to prepare for your exam. Okay, So before every exam, you will have study guides out here to accompany every module. Also, I wanted to bring your attention back to your calendar. Now, if you don't have a calendar at this point, you should go ahead and print out your course calendar, okay? Because on your course calendar, we have already um, lined the semester up, and so you know what information is going to be covered and at what time. And so as you see here, um, let's say today is the 29th. In lab, we went over module A. We talked about safety. We did some labs on hand washing, gloving, and validation. Now, when you look at your lab days and it has NUR module A, that means that we're going to lecture on that material and then you will have lab checkoffs. So let's go to another week. You'll notice the first week of September, it says Module A Safety. So we've divided Module A up into two sections. So you will have lecture material on the 4th and the 5th, and then we will check off on sterile packaging. And so I wanted to bring your attention to this calendar because although you know the modules that we're going over, you may not know where that information is in your book 
or you don't you may not know which chapters you need to read for that information and so if you remember our orientation day when we viewed our syllabus the syllabus did a breakdown of each module and it told you within the module within the syllabus which chapters you're going to read for each module so if I were you and you and if you have not done this I would go back to my syllabus I would look for the section that breaks down each module and shows you the chapters and I'm moving through this quickly so here it says module A we're going to cover um, safety and it's chapters 20 and 21 I would go back to my calendar that I've already printed and I would go ahead and write the chapters down on my calendar okay and the reason we want you to do this is when you come to class or you come to your lab sessions you should not come to labs and determine at that point which chapter you should have read in preparation for labs go ahead print this calendar look at your syllabus to see which chapters correspond to these modules go ahead and write that information go ahead and complete your whole calendar write down the chapters that correspond to each module so that you know which chapters you need to read and that you need to go ahead and be familiar with before you come to class we just want to make sure that you understand the different documents that are put out here for you how to become more organized again we do understand that this is the second week but we can't keep saying okay I don't get it I'm confused let's go ahead let's print these things out let's make a calendar let's make a day-to-day -day calendar to plot out how we're gonna study for three classes and let's um, let's get organized okay and if you have any questions please it's early in the semester even if it's late in the semester there are no dumb questions we want to make sure that we're giving you everything that you need to be successful in this course so again if you have any questions, please see myself, Dr. Ephraim, or Ms. Williamson. Thank you.